Hey, travelers. We dug up Troy. Yeah, I'm back, He's guys. Back. It's been a month, but I'm home. Yeah. 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 Feels good to be back. Yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. We missed you. Oh, well, glad to hear that. Yeah. yeah. I like to think I feel a need that no one else can quite satisfy. You do. Yeah, you yeah. fill a gap over there that nobody else can <laughs> just, quite fill. Just by pure size-wise, you know. Well, I yeah. wasn't going to go down that road, but yeah. <laughs> as, the, as the heaviest guy on the I table. fill my half. <laughs> Really balances. Sometimes out, it takes it two to balances fill out yours, the composition you know? of the screen a little <laughs> <It> bit better. <laughs> <laughs> That's what. Uh. So Any, anyway, uh, you came back on a good night because we got a we got a bunch of random beers. We have an um, escalation here. This we have a pretty good reception. It looks like. Well, you know, there was there was a time when we thought about doing all this size. Yeah, but um, we chickened out. Yeah. It's well, I Monday. Don't, it's <laughs> yeah, we're recording this on a Monday. Yeah, I don't really f- think that we. I don't think we could do that. I mean, I think we could. I don't think any of us would be happy about it tomorrow morning. Well, it was Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already not happy on Tuesdays if to you, begin with. If you, could, if you had that one day work week, <laughs> boy, that would be that would be the target. If we for had a that, good holiday but, tomorrow, I'd be like, yeah, man, let's crush three massive yeah. cans of beer. But I have to stand all day and record video tomorrow, so there's there's mm-hmm. no way I'm going to get through. I got uh, I got that. I have to ride with people. Oh, terrible. Talking to humans during my day is pretty terrible. Anyway, so this beer that you're opening right now, I saved just for you. <laughs> so this is from Eric. This We're, we're still tapping into stuff that we got from Eric Thanks, in Ohio. Eric. Yeah. So this is a hemp goza. I, I don't often and, say this, but Eric, you're okay, yeah. even though you are from Ohio. <laughs> I've been to Ohio like twice. So I, drive, I really can't say much. I drive through that state every time I have to go to Pittsburgh. Yeah. And Toledo is usually when I start contemplating, like, do I really want to do this? <laughs> is this really I've worth already, it? I've already committed a lot. But we're still only in Toledo. That's some Ohio humor for you folks from Ohio. There you go. So well, hemp, ha- hemp Goza yeah. from... Uh, Goodwood. Goodwood. <laughs> Just to define it real quick, a goza is a German style, traditional German style, despite it being a sour beer. Most people don't associate sour beers with Germany, but gozas have salt in them. And yep. that, uh, in the place in Germany where they came from, there was already that salt content in the water, which then added to a sour flavor in the beer. And then through process of illumination, they figured out that if you wanted to recreate that beer someone else, you had to put salt in it. So, yay Germans. Yay Germans. I'm a fan. I don't know what hemp is supposed so, to taste like. I I always just associate it uh, with that beer called the Hemperer. Oh yeah, that just that was caddy. Boy, as that thing was caddy. <laughs> caddy is uh, tasting terms for it. It tastes a bit like cat piss. Yeah, yeah. But I get zero caddy flavors. I in this. this no, this is a good yeah. beer. There's a few other things in here too. We also have a little lemon peel and hemp seed and coriander. I definitely get lemon peel. Yep, that lemon peel is very present. You get the saltiness of a goza. Yeah, that sourness. It's refreshing yep. though. This yeah. would be great after mowing the lawn. That's a good yeah, that's a good beer. Yeah. I'm, Thanks again, Eric. I feel like the hemp is kind of calming down the sourness a little bit and giving it a bit more of a crushability factor. It is nothing like the hemper. Oh Alex. Oh, saved it. <clears throat> what? Fastest hands in the West. We gotta get a smaller I apologize. table. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say we need a bigger table. Yeah? Is that what you were going to say? <laughs> oh, yeah. Cameraman wants one, guys. Sorry. Sorry for the disruption here. Well, that was a good way to start out. I'm glad we started yeah, off with that one. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. everyone. Who are Eric, you said? Yeah. Thank you, Eric. Not everyone. Just yeah. Eric. Just Eric. Yeah. If I anybody, could... I mean, we can always work work on it if somebody else wants to send If I was Goodwood, I'd slap this son of a gun in a 12-pack and start shipping it all around the country. That's how good it is. Yeah. You bet. Yeah. Uh, so the next one, Alex took a trip to Onalaska, Wisconsin, and you're probably asking, where the heck is Onalaska? Why is there a town named Onalaska in Wisconsin? Right. It's nothing like Alaska. Yeah. <laughs> and nor are you on it, Alaska, when yeah, you're there. Right? Yeah, right? Yeah. That's inaccurate in multiple ways. It's by La Crosse, and that's where uh, Alex happens to be from, I think, somewhere near there. West yeah. Salem, Onalaska, something like that. Yeah, La Crosse. Anyway, he, uh, he went to a brewery that's actually in the Hot Passport. Ooh. So don't drink without your passport. Don't drink without your passport. It's called It's sp- called Skeleton Crew Brew. There it is. You can get your stamp in there. 
And if you haven't gotten your Hot Passport already, go to hotpassport.com and use the promo code TAPROOM TRAVELERS for $5 off. This might have been my most successful pour. Nice. Out uh, of a crawler? Yeah. yeah. I'm actually, I'm glad that's on camera. This one, this one's called Me Hearties uh, Mango Milkshake IPA. I was going to wait for you to say that because I, I don't do voices, but you do them fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. Gar. Gar. What's your favorite pirate? Put that in the comments below or above. That is your favorite pirate. Yeah. Mine's Barbosa. Yeah. I, I liked, uh, did you ever watch SpongeBob? No. No? You should. And I, I know I'm a grown man. And uh, of all maybe, the TV recommendations I was expecting from you, SpongeBob was not one of them. Well, they had a terrible pirate on there. And I, and I mean terrible in a funny way. Um, that's kind of how he talked. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also, was, a big fan, awful. I'm also a big fan of uh, Tim Curry in uh, Muppet Treasure Island. Your favorite Muppet movie, yeah. My favorite Muppet, Muppet movie. Muppet Treasure Island. I w- <laughs> Cabin Fever. <sighs> That's quite the musical number, Landon. <laughs> I know I have to explain music to you again, but... <laughs> oh, you, school, you schooling me on music, yeah. <laughs> we talked about Rammstein while you were gone. Oh, Duhasmish. Yeah, no, but they came out with a new one. Uh, that's what the world needs. It's called it's called radio. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Neat. It's, it's intense. <laughs> this is great. No, but I woke up this morning. <laughs> I was a little sad this morning when I woke up, but now I know there's another Rammstein album out there for yeah. you not to listen. No, to. No, you should. <laughs> we should make a new podcast. You want to you really get the anger brewing just over nothing? <laughs> <laughs> They're singing about a radio. <laughs> Yeah, well. yeah, but it really, really stir the anger up. It's yeah. great. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> those Germans know how to hit mango. those nerves. I don't know how we got to Rammstein from Skeleton Crew. Brew, Everything but... leads to Rammstein. That's what I say. You said this is a mango IPA, not just a mango IPA, mango milkshake. My milkshake. There's a difference. Brings all the boys to the room. Yeah, there you go. Chris. Obviously, get nothing but mango on the nose. And drinking on, this and right away when you you get the smoothness of uh I think this is a real simple lactose. sell for folks. If you like mango, you will like this beer. If yeah. you do not like mango, do not drink this beer. It is a it is not a subtle mango. You know, it is uh all the mango. This tastes almost like juice. I feel like I'm drinking like you could <clears> drink this for breakfast like a grapefruit juice almost. Yeah. Yeah. So I will, I'll give this, I'm going to give this relative, if I had to score this beer, I'll give it a relatively high score in that it tastes like it promised. It's a lot of mango. It's good mango. It tastes like juice. It's refreshing. Once again, hot day outside <laughs> wouldn't be so bad. But uh, if you're looking for an IPA, maybe not this beer. Yeah. yeah. No. And on the IPA scale, it ranks a little lower than it does on fruit beer scale. So. Because I, I like I like I like fruited IPAs, but I like a bit more of a balance, you know. Yeah. See their their uh, their list. This is pretty accurate. I mean, as to what I I taste, a juicy tropical citrusy and creamy New England style IPA. Oh, that's right on. That's yeah. that's what we have in the glass. They wrote the most perfect description for yeah. this beer. Yeah. It's Why great. are we even here? We should just put a picture of that on know. screen. Actually, the people at Skeleton Crew Brew should just write everybody's list because I've seen a lot of lists that. Like paragraph and I, long, and, I, and, I'll, and I'll read it and go. That's not what I'm getting at all. We should make episodes like, "Dear Craft Brewers, quit putting stories in your description." I don't yeah. care about the story. I don't care about your great aunt <laughs> Sally and how she used to drive to whatever every day, and then she had a black cat jump on her car, and that's why we named the cat this beer Black Aunt Sally. Like I don't care. That that, didn't, care. that didn't tell me what your beer tastes yeah. like at all. Just what's what's in it. Yeah, yeah. And some lists you don't get that at all. No, yeah, they're, they're too. Yeah. Fun. Too focused on the nonsense. Oh, I think our producer wants to. If you want to know the story, you ask them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's called conversations. So you could tweet at. I mean, I mean, uh, tweeting is terrible. (laughs) But you should. (laughs) It's terrible. You should never tweet, unless it's something positive. But. No. Yeah. Yeah. Solid beer. Good find, Alex. And I mean, it's in the hot passport, so you can't go wrong. No. Yeah. You know the other thing that I you were gone, but uh. The Hot Passport has a competition in it called the Amazing Brewery Race. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And we never talked about it before. Yeah? Unless uh, until, la- until last week. No. Oh. Uh, well, the Wisconsin one, uh, a guy won the Wisconsin one already. So I'm sorry if you were going to go for that this year. It's done. But the good news is it's May. So if you want to try it next year, 
Oh, yeah. When there's bound to be more breweries on there. Oh, yeah. You at least fun. got till May. Beer so, run. Yeah. Are you actually running? No, I'm not going to run anything. <laughs> oh. No, you just have to go to the breweries and get a stamp. Uh, then you I'm, win some money. I thought we were running to the breweries. Nah. No, nah, I'm not all for running. So uh, I'll let you talk about this one. Yeah. I, I don't know. I know Brewery Omegong. Yep. And that's where this... the I would go ahead on record and say that Brewery Omegong is probably the best Belgian brewery in the United States. Belgian-focused brewery. <clears throat> and then they did a collab with the folks at Game of Thrones and made the Game of Thrones series of beer. Game of Thrones. Oh, my God. Have you guys seen last night's episode? So this is the the newest. There's one. no spoilers. We can't have any spoilers. This is the Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. Yep, it's a sour blonde ale blend. Spoiler. <laughs> it's a spoiler. I mean, just any grocery store would have to have a spoiler on it. Uh, this is no Starbucks cup. Yeah. What now? You oh, missed yeah, that. There's you missed a Starbucks. That? Yeah, that's yeah. hot. Or I didn't see it during the episode, but so we figured, being that there's one episode of Game of Thrones left, we might as well sample one. And if we were smart, which we're not, and if we thought ahead, which we don't, we would have had more of these to try. We right. could have gotten more of the series, but that's not our style here at Tap Room Travelers. But no. more by the seat of your pants, kind of, kind of folks. Well, that's like saying that we would actually prepped for this episode. Mm, yeah, that's not like fun. I mean, if I you mean, consider, we kind of prepped by Alex bringing like three massive cans of beer for that, us to drink on a Monday that, night. Yes, we did. Uh, we also sat on the couch for ten minutes beforehand and discussed baseball stuff that wasn't. I watch baseball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How big is that crawler? That crawler is a uh, quart. <laughs> yeah, one quart. So <laughs> 30, 32 full ounces. You're going to drink that baby by yourself. You better buckle in. 96 ounces of beer in one night. Yeah. That's a deal. <laughs> That's yeah. on a Monday. 96 ounces is a Friday night thing. Yeah, it kind of is. Yeah. You got you got a weekend to, you know, to work through it. So in honor of Game of Thrones, we shall drink uh, some of the Hand of the Queen. I've drank, or the Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I've drank all of their beers. Some of them were really good. Some of them, meh. You don't really get a lot of the uh, the Belgian yeast. No, it's just one note it's sour. A, yeah. This would actually be a... So that's a good description. One note sour. Yeah. This would be a great beer for uh, introductory. That's when we wanted to get into sours. Yeah. And was, you know, because like you get to something like this guy, it's a lot more complexity, a bit more intense in your, your sour and your lemon flavors. Yep. This is like subtle, simple, little sour, refreshing. Are yeah. you... Describing the beer or Cersei from Game of Thrones? Both. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I mean, I, I agree with you. This is uh, it's kind of a gateway... Sour. Yeah. Sour. Yeah. Maybe with, it, maybe with a hint of uh, Belgian, you know? Yeah. There's a little, a little extra funk right on the finish. Not much. Just, just a it, little. If you look for it, you can find it, but otherwise it's... So yeah. It's right by... Yep. Yeah, yeah, solid beer. So in the, now in the comments below, tell us who you think will win the Iron Throne. There you go. I, I don't know who it's going to be. I, I my money is on a guy named Hot Pies, but is the um, how do I say this PC? Um, is the little guy still still yeah, alive? Yeah. Peter Dinklage has made it. Yeah, my money's still on Hot Pie though. You think He's, so? Yeah. Spoiler. Yeah. Do you think there's Do you think there's only going to be one person left? An entire continent? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> the way it's going. Just <laughs> just bloodbath after bloodbath. And there's only one episode left. The craziest part is when all three of the dino uh, dragons turned out to be Transformers and they combined to make a super robot. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so it's <laughs> So it's Power Rangers. Yeah, I, I and we didn't trans realize and that. Transformers all into one? Yeah. With dragons? Yeah. But they're dragons. Yeah, that's what yeah. makes it even cooler. Yeah. Yeah. So when they fight, is there some like cheesy music that plays? A lot of <laughs> like <laughs> I used to have those gloves as a kid where you you hold your hands and <laughs> I don't doubt that. Oh at all. yeah, yeah. They're White Ranger. You gloves. were wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like the Green Ranger better. Yeah, you like the Moody one, of course. Mm-hmm. Moody Ranger for a Moody guy, <laughs> huh? <laughs> I like the Black Ranger. You know how to dance. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know. He was good at dancing. I, I His agree. whole entrance was just like him, like, hey, guys, look at me. I think you watched a different Power Rangers than I did. <laughs> Probably. 
Uh, times you live on a farm and you have no one to talk to. Uh, or you live in a small town and you have nobody to talk to. Mm-hmm. Valid point. Yeah. Anyway, those are the, the beers for the week. Um, remember old Hot Passport? And uh, I, th- I don't think we've actually talked that much about it. Hot Passport's not only going to be in a book form next year. Oh. It's going to be an app form. I was literally like, an app? Yeah. That's way more easy because... Well, I, you can lose that, <laughs> and I about lost mine. Or even just remembering to bring it sometimes. That too. You know. And who doesn't have... I mean, millennials, right? Always uh, have their phones with them. Yeah, I got my phone with me on all times. Always. Just put it on my phone. Yeah. Yeah. I have everything else on there. I mean, the, I, I will give them this. There is a satisfaction with having a book and getting a stamp. Feels good. Right? So if they, they could somehow develop a, an app that once you scanned it, there's a stamp that shows up on the... Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. 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 I'm not an app developer, so I have no idea how to do that. Nah. But If only. If only. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so there's that, and uh, and we're bound to have a ton more beers in the next episode because I don't know if you know this, we're accumulating beers faster than we can drink them, <laughs> 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 which is not always a bad problem it's to a have. Fun way to, I like fighting my way out of this hole. <laughs> of all the holes we have to fight our way out of in life, this is one of the better ones. Maybe one of these days we'll give uh, one of you faithful watchers a guest seat. Oh. On, the, on the vlog. Maybe we'll take the vlog on the road and we'll bring some if beer with the us. The first person to make me laugh in the comments. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if people make it this far in the episode. No. Yeah. Comment below if you've made it this far. Also, that's, should we just start taking our shirts off at this point? Is yeah, that... Uh, no. <laughs> I, I think if we want people to keep watching. Well, I mean, <laughs> so, some people be like, I'm never finished. And they're like, oh my God, did they take their shirts on off of all of them? All of them? Then maybe they'll go back Wasn't and watch. Wasn't there a band that did that, like Blink-182 or something? They just constantly were taking their shirts off? Well, the Red Hot Chili Peppers that. just wore socks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Maroon 5 always takes his shirt off. Of I don't think he, I, I think he's Of so, course, Beth would know that Maroon so 5. He's so hot when he yeah. puts a shirt on, it melts off. Yeah, yeah. Right? He's so good looking. My shirts just don't it, even want to be on me. It's, it's, a, <laughs> it's more of a resistance thing. <laughs> no, 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 no. You get on that chest right now. <laughs> uh, uh, I think that's about enough yeah, torture for uh, one night. Anyway, we'll I'm have... I'm feeling good about this. Well, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we drank some beer. We talked like a pirate for a while. We discussed Rammstein and... Took our shirts off. It's been a night. No, and Game, Game of, of Thrones. Thrones. And Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, everybody. Who's going to win the Iron Throne? Anyway, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, if you really think you're going to be on Twitter at all. <laughs> and remember to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. It's 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 around here somewhere. And make sure you uh, comment and share us with a friend. That would make our night. So anyway, until next week, we'll see you. Prost. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time.